Perik Dalad Mishnah Tess. Rabbi Yaina Sanaimer, Kola Makaima Satira Me Oini, Soifala Kaima Me Oisha. Rahola Mavatala Satira Me Oisha, Soifala Vatala Me Oini. Rabbi Yaina Sun says that anyone who is Makaima the Tirem in a situation in a state of poverty, then ultimately he will be able to be Makaim the Torah in a situation in a state of wealth. And anyone who's Mavatal the Torah, who's not Makaim, who's Mavatal the Torah, when he is in a state of wealth, when his situation is one of wealth, ultimately he will be Mavatal the Torah also in a state of poverty. So we learn out two things from this Mishnah. One that if a person is Mekayim the Torah, he's a Tzadik, he's a Mekayim the Torah. Even if he's poor, he's in a state of poverty, but he's Mekayim the Torah, ultimately he will be blessed with wealth. And not only that, he'll be Zaycha to be Mekayim the Torah in that state of wealth. Someone, on the other hand, who is a wealthy person, and in spite of the fact that he's a wealthy person, he's mevatel the Torah, he does not keep the Torah. So conversely, he will ultimately be poor. And not only will he be poor, but he will also be mevatel the Torah in his state of poverty. So two questions arise. Number one, the tzaddik who is mekayim the Torah when he is poor. So he is assured that he will become wealthy. Is that really so? Are there not many, many tzaddikim gedoylim who at the end of their lives they're nifter in a state of poverty and they never attain wealth? The Gemara Bracha says, Not everyone is Zaycha to be both a tzaddik and to be wealthy. Many, many tzaddikim were poor their entire lives. In fact, they say over from the Chavetz Chaim that he was mispalel that his children, his descendants, should not be wealthy. And why is it that the tzaddik who keeps the Torah in a state of poverty is assured he'll be wealthy and keep the Torah in a state of wealth? The person who is mevatel the Torah in a state of wealth, he will become poor. And similarly, be mevatel the Torah in a state of poverty. Well, there are many wealthy people who die rich. And why should it be that the person who was mevatel the Torah in a state of wealth, why will he say that he will be mevatel it when he is poor? Maybe he'll be mekayim it when he's poor. Maybe when he is poor, he'll be chayzer b'tshuva. So this Mishnah begs an explanation. Now the Mishnah doesn't say kol hamekayim es Torah me'oini. That held the schus, held the schar of wealth. It's a soifai, ultimately, which implies that this is the natural order of things. That this is what's going to happen. So, how do we understand this mission? Now, perhaps beyond the literal explanation that if a person is Oymet bin Asayin, he keeps the Torah when he's poor, that he'll have schar, and he'll be blessed, and have a bracha, and he'll have wealth. Perhaps the literal, beyond the literal explanation, there's another explanation as well. The Tiferes Yisrael says that when we talk about Nisyonis, the Nisyonis that a person has, there are nisyonis of what we call, what are in the category of oini, or we call in the category of poverty. That's one category of tests of nisyonis, or challenges, when things are difficult. 
that is in the category of oini, of poverty. And it doesn't necessarily have to mean literally poverty of wealth, financial poderty. Their nisyanus, their challenges, challenges that come, all kinds of challenges from difficulties. Difficulties could be financial poverty, it could be Rahman al Islam sickness, it could be Rahman al Islam, all kinds of different difficulties that people have that goal is different types of things that people have in difficulties, situations where turmoil in the world. That's the category of Aini. That's one type of an Nisoyen. If a person has Rahman al Islam, an Nisoyen, where things are difficult, whatever the difficulty may be, and if he's Makayim the Torah, me Aini, in that situation, in that state of oini, of challenges, of difficulties. He's overcome that challenge. The Rebbeinu Shalom gives him special siyat to Dishmaya. And in addition, the person is elevated. And now he's given another set of challenges. And there's a different category of nisyanus of tests. And this different category of tests of these nisyanis are called oisher, wealth, which does not necessarily have to mean financial wealth. It means hatzlocha. A person is given hatzlocha. That's a different set of challenges. Success, whatever that success may be. It could be financial wealth. It could be popularity. It could be fame. It could be all kinds of things that are pleasurable and enjoyable to a person. It could be things that give him nachas and give him simchas aleid. That's a different category. That's a category of oisher, of hatzloch. If a person is oimed in the nisoyin of oini, he's given a greater challenge. As the Masil Sishoram says, the challenge of the nisyonis of oisher is greater than the challenge of oini. It's harder to be an evid, an oivid Hashem belay sholem in a situation of oisher, it is harder than in a situation of oini. If a person withstands the nisyon of oini, he now rises himself up, he's elevated, he's now given a greater challenge because he's become a greater person. And he's given the challenge of Hatzlocha. But he's also given special siyata the Shmai because if he withstood the challenge, the Nisayan of Oini, he's worthy of special siyata the Shmaya to assist him in this greater challenge of Hatzlocha, of Oisha. And Saifullah came on the Oisha, at least for a period of time. But if he's mevatal the tayrame oisha, he lowers his madrega. If he did not withstand the test of hatzlocha, he's lowered down, he's given the test of oini, which does not necessarily have to mean financial poverty. It could mean difficulties, whatever the difficulties may be, whatever the challenges are. It could be Rahman al Islam sickness. Machlekes. It could be turmoil in his life and in his world. But he's also missing that special siyata deshmaya because he did not withstand the challenges previously. If one is Oymid bin Nisayan, he's given a greater Nisayan, but he's also given siyata deshmaya because he succeeded in withstanding the test that he was given. Now he's given a higher test but he also has that siyata the Shmaya. And that is the natural progression of things. Saifai. Not Zaycha, not Hasabra, Saifa. That's the natural progression of things. That's the Mahalach. That's the way the Rabbi Shalom fears the Welt, the conduct of the world and the people in the world, and the relationship with Yisrael. Saifa. 
the they say about the stifler, Zatzal. He used to make an effort to be a sandik by a bris, and he used to travel all around there to stroll to be a sandik. He was makbid to be a sandik by a bris. Now it's brought down that sandikoy is a sandik is zeicha to great wealth. So they asked the stifler, "You've been a sandik at so many brisim. You've been some sandik so many times, and you have no financial wealth." He said, what do you mean? I don't have wealth. I'm such a wealthy person. Look at every volume of the Kilis Yaakov. Every Sefer. Isn't that Ashiras? Isn't that wealth? That's the greatest wealth. Similarly, Rav Chaim Zetzal was still in the state of mourning for the Sar HaTara Rav Chaim he was also mocked to be a sandik at a bris. He was a sandik at so many countless bris. He was a sandik. Now, where was the wealth of Rav Chaim? So they asked Rav Chaim, you're a sandik at so many bris. So Rav Chaim, the son of the stipler, carried on the tradition. And you're a sandik, and where is your wealth? He said, my grandchildren that are born every year, is that not wealth? If we're oimed in a soyan through challenges, through difficulties, through lack of hatzlach, we become greater people. We've elevated ourselves. And the Rabbi Yisholem now gives us a greater challenge. The challenge of hatzlach. To be oimed in that challenge, to be an emissa, oimed Hashem, in a situation of Hatzlocha, which is a greater challenge. But since we were oimed in that Nisoyan of oini, of difficulties, it carries with us a special siyat of the Shmaya, soifa lekaima me oishar v'chein which should all be.